Hello, this is Michelle Knight. Welcome to your weekly astrology this week. Oh, I have to tell you, it's it's a challenging week. I'm not going to lie. We have Mercury going retrograde. We also have a new moon, which is tangling with Pluto. Also, Mars and Saturn are involved. So we are being challenged. However, the new moon is in harmonious Libra. So there is potential to glide through it as long as we don't engage in battle. Here's your weekly astrology. Virgo. This week and the next few weeks actually are all about you finding security, peace within yourself, the ability to feel safe in the world when the world is in chaos. And, and I do believe there's going to be a lot of external chaos, some massive shady shenanigans are going on this week in the external world and uh, escalating. So, you know, you need to keep secure in yourself. You're very sensitive. You're a deep thinker. No doubt you read a lot. You research a lot. Your mind is, is going over the facts of what's happening in the world and it may be slightly draining you. So I want you to look after yourself this week. I want you to ground yourself. Uh, the new moon is in your grounding position, but there is a square to Pluto. Uh, the Lord of Transformation. It's almost like you feel as if someone doesn't want you to have fun. You know, they, they want to we on your parade and, and not allowing you to fully embrace your wisdom and, and, and your joy and to trust in yourself. They're putting you down and it's doing your head in. Uh, Mercury is retrograde in your communication zone. So first thing I would say to you, because obviously Mercury is your ruler, is just don't take it all in one bit at a time. Calm yourself, you know, and, and protect yourself. And if you're getting information that's riling you up, don't instantly react. I did that just today and it did not end well. <laughs> Take it from me. If I'd have taken 10 minutes to breathe, I, I wouldn't have done what I did uh, because the information was wrong. So I'm in, it is Mercury shadow. What can I expect? But you are more impacted, you know, follow your analytical side and you are more emotional this week because Mercury's retrograde and you're not sure which information is fact and reality and which is illusion and, and which is kind of shady shenanigans for yourself. So take your time before making any, in fact, I wouldn't make a decision this week, to be honest with you. I would just be cool, do nice things, you know, chill out, don't engage in anything contentious if possible. Your main focus is this new super moon, which is about you feeling secure. And to do that, you may have to face things. Who are the people in your life that drain you of joy? Maybe it's time to say, you know, good night Vienna to those people. And it's time to honour the fact that you deserve to be happy and to honour the fact that to be happy, you might have to make changes. Simple as that. And it's time to look after your sense of security. If there are people, situations, things in your life that are making you insecure, then maybe time to get shot of them. But again, I wouldn't necessarily do it now. I'd be thinking deeply about what you want from your future and what you want from your support system and what you want, you know, how you want your relationship to yourself to be. You know, it's time to trust yourself now to make the decisions that you know you've got to make instead of putting everything off. But as I say, don't, no definites until Mercury goes out of shadow and it is ahead. If you've got to make a decision, again, don't do it rashly. Don't do it like that. We're all a bit overconfident as well this week with the sun opposing Mars. And uh, you might be spurred on or overexcited about a temptation or there may be an issue to do with power and you're like, you know, pushing in a way that you wouldn't normally do. So I think there's a lot of positive to come out of this week. I th you know me. Uh, with Mercury retrograde, some decisions you've made in the past or you're, you're thinking back to ideas in the past that you can now bring forward. There may be someone in the past suddenly get in touch with you and you're like, wow. Again, don't wholeheartedly open up your heart to that person, but just pay attention. Do what you're good at. Observe and analyze. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Uh, yeah, there's some, some sort of fighty, angry, childish behavior at the moment. But why do people behave like this? Because they're hurt and confused. People don't behave like that because they're happy in themselves. Their life is all peachy and they feel good. People don't tend to behave like that because they're bad people. Often this sort of childish reaction that you and I are capable of doing just as much as anyone else is, is based on feeling hurt and vulnerable. 
So if anybody is doing something that feels like a little jab or a below the belt comment, think about, okay, you know, was that meant? What's going on with them? Try and put everything in perspective. Easier said than done, I know. Anyway, the wheel is turning. There's some very powerful shifts coming for you. When the wheel of fortune shows up, it means there's a twist of fate. Something is shifting, something is changing, and life will never be the same again. Um, so look out and, oh, then you've got the high priestess. So there's, there's some divine soul wisdom coming to you this week. Some very important downloads from the cosmos about the truth of your soul journey. And it's, it's important that you trust your wisdom, you, you trust your inner self, or seek wisdom and guidance from someone that you know is wise. But filter it down. Make sure in your body, when you make a decision, uh, that you, you can feel whether it's true. Don't, don't separate your mind, your heart, and your intuition. Bring them together. Also, I believe this means you're stepping into your power more. You're stepping into your own high priestess and your own energy. Yeah, and then you can have a rebirth and then you can be tender and then you can open up to the next phase of your creativity. Anyway, I think you're fabulous. I think you can do it and I think you can get a lot out of this week. So you take care, gorgeous. If you want your written horoscope, horoscope.co.uk and Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L. And if you want loads and loads of free tarot, michellenight.com. Look, go under free readings. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. MichelleKnight.com. I was a client of Michelle Knight, so I knew all of the, the psychics and they'd read for me. It's such a innovative and really useful organisation to have at your fingertips. There are a lot of people who they have an idea of what a psychic reading is, they have an idea of you know what a psychic should and shouldn't do, and a lot of it is from centuries gone by, you know, the, the carnival side show. That and Michelle really has brought psychics into the modern world. Michelle Knight is a wonderful organisation to work for. It's a unique family, and that is readers, the customer service operators. I know if I wanted to choose a reading, and I know I wouldn't go to another company. The ethics, the standard, the professionalism that we keep really is second to none. To be honest, I've never really looked at another reader service because uh, I don't think I need to. When I finally got the job, I, I pray that I will do well with all the tests that we go through. I was absolutely delighted. Well, the process of uh, being employed with Michelle Knight was, wasn't an easy one, which is always makes it more rewarding when you do actually pass the, the four test readings that you have to go through before you're accepted. The interview process is actually reading for other people, reading for some of Michelle's staff as well. It's actually, you know, what they're looking for specifics. So surname, relatives, their names, they're looking for what happened two or three years ago in detail. To be sitting at home and then the phone rings and this beautiful distinctive voice, it's Michelle Knight here, I'm ringing you for my test reading, is on the other end of the line, is scary. She, she really wants to know that her clients are getting validations. You get a sense that everybody running it is on the ball. The flexibility we get as readers, well, it's just great. I do love the freedom of when I can work and when I can have a break. Michelle Knight family are amazing, really flexible, very supportive. It's like working for no other. It's authentic, that's a big thing, it's authentic. She genuinely cares about her readers and about the people that we read for, so it's inclusive. I love working for michelleknight.com. They're great people, it's a great energy there. She really cares about her readers getting the best and she really cares about the clients coming and walking away, you know, and feeling like they got what they came for. Working with Michelle Knight, I know that I've got professional backup and I know that the clients are looked after very well as well. Michelle's very involved with her readers personally. If you need information, you need anything from her, she will reply personally. I just love being part of a unique team, one of the most unique companies that, that I've ever come across.